Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. I will not be uh, um, anywhere near as, as long as, as Mr. Hilson this morning. I, um, from, from what I see of my burden this morning, uh, I'll only be trying the one case and, and not the three or four that, that you were described this morning. Uh, as, as far as I know, uh, we're here for the people versus um, Jeffrey Willis, uh, count one homicide, open murder, did murder Jessica Lynn Herringa, um, and count two kidnapping, didn't know only restrain Jessica Lynn Herringa. And those are the only counts that I'll be trying. Um, all these other materials, uh, will, that's the prosecutor's burden and his, his case, he can do what he wishes, but those are the cases that I'll be focusing on. Um, this is the part where I tell you I, what I think the evidence is going to show, and, and quite frankly, it's not going to take very long, because I think when we're done with this case, uh, that, that you won't know any more about Jessica Harris's fate than you know right now. Um, you'll know a lot more about her, including that she 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 was living a very tumultuous life. Um, there are a lot of things going on. She's a very young woman. Um, she's working at a gas station. Uh, her significant significant other is not working, uh, there are financial issues when, you, when that happens. Um, she's a mother, um, and she dearly loves her son. There, there's, no, there's, there's not a scintilla of information that indicates otherwise. She's bonded to this child, she loves this child um, and, and with her whole heart, um, but she's not sure she's doing a good job, and she's not sure that she's placing this child in a good environment. Um, and, and there are other issues that are going on. Uh, you'll be hearing stuff about substance abuse that's going on uh, within her life, within the family confines. Uh, the, the issue of heroin will come up, uh, and you'll be hearing about that. Uh, you'll also hear about conflicting loyalties, that while she was with a significant other, there were other individuals with whom she was attracted. Um, and, and you'll hear, uh, from, it, you'll hear from her. Uh, she kept a journal. Um, and um, one of the passages in the journal, which I believe you'll hear, is that at one point she's so frustrated, she writes, she wants to get away. She wants to just run away, leave everything, get away, and never come back. Um, along with that, you'll hear things about conflicting. The, the witnesses' stories will conflict. Um, uh, one of the things I ask you is note the physical descriptions. Uh, there, there are going to be witnesses who come in and, and they will, they will attempt to describe the persons they saw that night. And what, the, what you'll hear is they don't remotely correspond to Mr. Uh, Willis. Uh, Mr. Willis does not have blonde hair. He's not over six feet tall. He, um, he uh, um, is not a, a large man. He uh, uh, is not clean shaven. But you'll hear descriptions of the person that people see at these at the location with Ms. Herringer that diametrically opposed the descriptions that you can see from where you're sitting. Um, you will hear a lot. You will hear days of testimony about Miss Bletch. And you will hear days of testimony about Miss Nygaard. You'll hear about um, the, the pornography um, that my client collected or had possession of. You'll hear all about, you'll hear about how the type it is and, and how disgusting it is. Um, you'll hear the subject of his, his videotaping. He was taping people. You hear about that. But what you won't hear is that no one has ever seen him alone with Miss Herring. Um, no one's ever seen him assault Miss Herring. No one's ever seen him drug Miss Herring. He will be I believe you will have information that paints him as an evil person, and, and that may be your judgment of people. But you will not have evidence that he killed or kidnapped Ms. Herringa. And we think, in the end, um, as, as you remind you of your oath, when you decide this particular matter, is the fact that you don't have anything. There is no there there. That you don't have the, the evidence that you need whether it's CSI or other, other sources, you don't have the evidence you need to convict my client of the case for which he's actually been charged this morning. That I have no further comments. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.